All right, we're live. Here we are live at the Long Beach Kennel Club dog show, one of the biggest dog shows in California, sponsored by the Long Beach Kennel Club. We're at the Industry Hills Expo Center. It is Sunday. Right now I have you in the confirmation area, which means these are all the show dogs. These are all the beautiful dogs that people are showing, winning awards for. Look over here. I'm going to flip this around a couple times. Oh, let me see how I flip it around. Where is the little flipper around? Oh, here it is, right here. Look here, we got little Malteses. Look at these little dogs right here. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I was just corrected. This is a Bichon Frigé. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those guys. Have they gone in yet? Okay, they're going to go in. Can you tell me their names? Their names? This is Butch. Butch. Oh my God. And okay, so there they are. And you're the name of your kennel? Oh. It's all oh, okay. What's the name of your kennel? Fair Spray Kennels. And these are beautiful dogs. Now, do they have any championships already? Oh, yesterday here at the Long Beach Club. Okay, look at the. Okay. She won the breed yesterday. No, she took breed. Okay, and how did she do in groups? She didn't because it's a very tough group. Tough group, yeah. Now, what group are they in? This is the toy. Oh, non sporting. This is not the toy group. Okay, this is very important to know. Okay, thank you very much. This will be on my YouTube channel, Robert Cabral YouTube. Please check it out. Thank you. Look at that. That's a beautiful dog. Now, what would a dog like a Bichon be a good pet for? Like a family with children, maybe? They're good all around dogs. Let me turn this around a bit. They really are. I'm going to put you on camera with me. Hang on, because people are live here watching us. In fact, we have a puppy here. <laughs> okay, well, come on over here. Let me get you on camera with me. Okay. Tell me your name. Doreen Waterman. This is Doreen Waterman, and she breeds these beautiful dogs. And now these dogs are good. Let's say somebody lives in an apartment. They're fine. Okay, good for apartments. Low energy? They can be. They can also be a little. Some are more hyper than others. Okay. But, but it's a good all-around dog. They're good with kids. Kids. They're very good with older people. Okay. Low drive. Yeah. Not too much energy? Right. Okay. Right. Well, this would be a really great family dog. And seeking out a good breeder is just such a good thing because you do right. health checks. Exactly. We know the history of the dog. Right. It's not some puppy mill selling on in right. our Craigslist or something. We have, we have something. pedigree. Yeah. Years of breeding, so we know what's behind every dog. And this is what's really important because these dogs can suffer horribly in puppy mills, but also can have a horrible hereditary diseases right, exactly. that you screen for yes and that's definitely. not going to happen when we go to a good breed of people this is why I tell you I know you want to rescue and it's great to rescue if you can but if not search out a good breeder find somebody who loves these dogs this is this lady's life and she's giving you the, the best of the dog honestly you check the dogs out you do the health checks and that's what you want that's what you're paying right. the money for great right. well thank you very much tell me your name one more time Doreen Waterman and Doreen uh, is, are you on Facebook yes so if you're looking for a Actually, beautiful my hus puppy. my husband is very well known, world known. Okay. Because he got the dog introduced in America. Okay, now that's a huge piece right yeah. there. This is somebody who knows this breed, who's right. been around. And this is this is a beautiful dog. I'm going to go back in here. Fact, he he and another handler yep. did the original trim on these dogs. Wow. Initially, they were like a shaggy dog. Okay. So they trimmed oh, the, the His dog. design. Yeah. And what's his name? Joseph Waterman. Joseph Waterman. So Google that while you're at it. Only bringing you the best stuff here, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, thank you so thank much, you. Sir. Appreciate it. And she has a puppy. So look her up on Facebook if you want a real good dog. I'm telling you, you want to, you want to, you want to check this out. So here we go. Look how huge this is. Let me tell you what I love about this club. Look at this right here. You see, that's Janet. That's one of the things I love about being here. But look at that American flag. That I love. Now. What's beautiful in this place is there's flags of so many different countries all over, but ours, the American flag that I pledge my allegiance to, is the biggest one. And we sued the national anthem. Now look at this. These are little, uh, what, what breed? Okay, so these are Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Absolutely beautiful dog. And you're about to go in the ring probably, right? Do you mind if I talk to you real quick before you do? Actually, you'll get too excited. We're going to be very respectful. We're going to not her it's the dog but I'm gonna just show you what he looks like here that's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier and these are like little little minis very cute and you know what I what I really want to show you here is that these dogs look at them all there's tons of them and there's no fighting right because these dogs are well-bred 
well socialized, well handled by people who know the breed. And that's so important, people. That's, if you love dogs as much as I do, you want what's best for the dogs. So we're gonna go over here. These guys are, I'm gonna go in the ring with you. Not in the ring, I can't go in the ring. But I'm gonna just show you this, this up and back where the judge looks for the confirmation of the dog. And this doesn't matter as much about color in this breed, because you're gonna, all the colors are judged together. Um, and there's obviously only one coat length but they will judge these dogs based on their confirmation. There's another one going in. Okay, number 18 is going in. Now this is, a, look at this, this is a little uh, black dog. Or maybe they call him blue, I don't know. But she can take this dog all the way around the ring and first, you're gonna see this. I'm gonna show it to you. Look how beautiful that dog stands right there. Go ahead, you're fine. Look at this. I'm, I really can't answer your questions right now. I'm just kind of trying to give you a really good live cast. Look at this beautiful dog. Look at this. So you take it all the way around the ring. Now the shorter dogs, they're gonna bring them up on a little ramp here so the judge can examine the dog. Look at that, okay. Now the judge will come in, check the confirmation of the dog. Okay. Now she's looking for lots of different things. She's looking for the teeth, to have a nice scissor bite, I don't, I'm sure, see, look at that beautiful bite. Then also the structure of this dog. How are the dog's hips, how are the dog's shoulders, how does the dog stand, what is the top line of that dog, how square is that dog, or how straight, or the angulation, these are all things you want to know. Confirmation, somebody's asked me to explain confirmation, confirmation is the, uh, the overall structure of the dog. They want to know, <clears throat> does it conform to the breed standard, the size, the head shape, the body shape, and all that stuff. And also, they're looking at this movement, right? This is really important that you don't really understand if you don't know what you're looking for. How does that dog walk, right? Because that's a huge piece on the health of a dog, how the dog functions. Okay, now here there, there are more dogs going in here. What's this? I can't, I can't read the comments. I don't know if you guys know, but live video, the comments come and then they fade out. And as I'm reading them, they fade out because my eyesight's not that good. But all right, let me let me walk you over here and take a look at this. These are all <laughs> watch good. Here's the three dogs that are in the finals here. Look at that. Now you're gonna get to see right here live who wins. Yeah, well this uh, Ali, this is the loves of my life. This is the thing I love most, and that's dogs. Okay, now she's judging very carefully the look of this dog, the confirmation. Okay, there's your first place dog right there. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Congratulations to him. See, and then they'll bring more dogs back. It's very complicated. I don't really understand everything with confirmation myself, but it's quite, quite interesting. Um, all the different... Look at this guy here. Look at that guy. Look how beautiful that guy is. Look at that. What's his name? Coda. Coda? That's a beautiful dog. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, what a face, huh? How, how old is Coda? Two, two in March, Coda. And does Coda have any championship or anything yet? Yeah, he's got his championship. Do you mind if I interview you real quick on camera or are you about to go in? I'm gonna get you when you're back. When he comes out, we're gonna get him. This is Coda, so somebody says, hi, Coda. Okay, so we're gonna watch and see. Okay, these dogs are all coming out now. Okay, so this is best of breed. So these are dogs who already have their championship, and this was Coda, is one of those dogs. So we're gonna look at these guys, and we just saw Coda out here. Coda is so beautiful, look at this. Now look at the head of this, this dog. Look how beautiful his head is. And I'm gonna try to get you a good shot of the stack of that dog, the size of that dog. And this is, now notice the, the angulation of the back leg also, how very square. I'm gonna just cut in front of you here. Oops, today's I'm going up, oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go, and I'm gonna go this way here. Look at that. Now it's hard to see it from here, but this is like the behind the scenes angle here. These are the championship. So one of these dogs will beat the other ones and then they'll get points towards what's called a grand championship. 
Those are nice staffies. Yeah, they are. And you know what I really like here? These people are responsible with these dogs. They're breeding these dogs. They're taking care of these dogs, and they're kind of keeping the lineage alive. Because yeah, staffies can be a great dog until morons stop start fighting them and doing stupid shit like that, which really annoys me. This is a dog. It's a beautiful dog. Notice there's no aggression in the ring, right? You got four dogs, five dogs in the ring, and there is no aggression. There's nobody posturing anything like that. Well-bred, well-raised, well-socialized dogs. They have to get along. If they're going to fight in the ring, it's not going to happen. Yeah, totally chilled out dogs. That's right. I spend a little time on these guys today. You know, we spent in Palm Springs, we spent time on all these different ones, these different breeds. But this is a breed that, you know, we see so much in the shelter from pit bull terriers, Staffordshire terriers. This is an American Staffordshire, or an English Staffordshire terrier, I believe it is. It's an English Staffordshire terrier, right? So it's English Staffordshire terrier. Look at him go around the ring. Look at this. Now this judge has to pick the best one out of here, which I don't have no idea how she does it. It's got to be impossible. I could never be a confirmation judge. They all look great to me. Yeah, really elegant pooches. Yeah. So then again, they go up here, and they'll go up on that table, and this is where the judge really gets a nice, good look because it's too hard to bend down on the table. It brings them up closer to the judge, and they get a much, much better. Um, can any breed be, I, I lose it, sorry. The collies are stunning. Every dog here is stunning. You know, by the way, every dog is stunning. You know, I'm going to kind of go away from here. because That's the champion. Uh, he's one of the champions here. I'm going to show you this here. They do this up and back. Yeah, border collies, awesome. Can any breed be responsive and sharp? Yes. Bad breeding, poor socialization. It can all do, all do that. So look at that, beautiful. Beautiful dog. Just a few back there. Now the next dog is up on the stand to be examined. I am a kid in a candy shop. There's nothing better to me than this. I love, love, love. Yeah, Border Collies are probably the smartest dogs. People always get on me for that. You know, they give me crap because I say what the, you know. I can tell you what the smartest dogs. Are. I can tell you Border Collies, Malinois, German Shepherds, are very smart dogs. I can also tell you dogs that are not very smart. But then people get on me. But I don't care. I'm here to tell you the truth. You don't need a smart dog, by the way. You know, people say, oh, you get on dogs because they're not smart. You don't need a smart dog. Who cares? But you should know if a dog is going to be smart and responsive. Do they get paid for winning? Some do. Some will have little cash prizes and some don't. Retrievers are smart too. You're right, Thomas. Okay, look at that. All right, let's walk around a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to just stay stuck here because there's so many dogs here. Look at this, there's some Border Collies. I mean, tell me those aren't gorgeous dogs. I mean, that's just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful, look at that. Okay, here I screwed up. Those are Aussies. I said Border Collies because somebody was talking about Border Collies. And Janet corrected me. Not only is she beautiful but smart, but she's also my number one producer and tells me. Look at that, look at that beautiful, beautiful dog. Okay, let's walk around a little bit, shall we? Now look over here. Let's see what we got over here. We got a chow. And this is what goes on. This is the babying these dogs get and the grooming to make them able to walk in the ring. I'm not a big uh, a collie Malamute mix. Uh, don't ask me about that one. <laughs> but look at, look at the grooming. Look at the work that goes into making these dogs able to get in the ring hours and hours of getting the dogs ready before they ever go into the ring again i'm at the long beach kennel club the long beach kennel club does an amazing amazing job putting this show on there's janet she's going to wave to you really quick she's very shy by the way she's always going to move off camera okay we're going to walk around here now look at this dog what kind of dog is that a german pincher okay so it's like a doberman not related. It looks a lot like one. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful dog. And what's the person? Can I, do you mind if I put you on camera with me? Okay, we're going to talk to somebody here who has the German pinchers. And here she is. What's your name? Hi, I'm Connie. Connie, I'm Robert. Nice to meet Hi, you. Robert. Now tell me a little bit about the German pinchers. Well, they're, they are a German breed. Okay, that's okay. good. Mm -hmm. And they uh, almost died out when World War II. 
and oh, okay. all the German breeds <laughs> okay, took yeah. a hit. Big hit, yep. And they they found a large bitch and some large min pins okay. and repopulated the breed. Oh, okay. So they had to redo the breed because they couldn't. Okay. Yeah. Now, we tell, almost lost them. Now they tell did. me, is it a working dog? What, it's a working dog. Working line dog. Mm -hmm. And what is the primary function of the dog? Oh, they're ratters. They're barn. They're versatile. Okay. Boy, they can do anything. Okay. They, so almost like a terrier, the versatile, right? Well, no, they're the versatile barn dog. Barn dog. Okay. Whoops, okay. I lost you. Not on camera. Oops, we got to keep you okay. on camera. Okay. <laughs> there she is. Okay. We don't want to get her off camera. And I'm going to just get a quick shot here of what's his name? Billiam. This. Oh my God. Oh he's, my a love. <laughs> he's a love. He's a vicious man right here. He's a vicious dog. Oh, he's yeah. a vicious dog. And, and, I mean, I don't often get love like this. Thank you so much. Bill, he gives hugs. Yeah, oh, Bill gives hugs. He's not a kisser. He's no, a hugger. That's okay. Well, it, this is kind of like a therapy dog to me because sometimes oh, I need a little be. bit of therapy. He could be very he's easy. absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so and he's five years old. Does he have a championship? Oh, he's anything? a grand champion. He's grand a, champion. Um, gold honors champion. Oh my in, god. Uh, oh my god. In uh, international. International. So so and this he's is almost a bronze. He needs ten points to get to be a bronze champion. Now, do you breed them? Uh, I did breed you him. You breed him. Okay. So, no, are these dogs good with children? Are they good with um, what other dogs? They're good with respectable children. Okay. So people, dog, children that know how to treat a dog. Okay. okay. And what what are they like in the house? Oh, they're, like, they're good house dogs. They're Great house dogs. Couch potatoes. Couch potatoes. Oh, we, we like couch potatoes. And they potatoes. love to play. Okay. So they'll do that too. They're and very... They're, um, Aware of their surroundings okay. as far as what's going on okay. outside. I live in a rural area, okay. so he knows when something's passing that doesn't okay. belong there. And we want that. Yeah. So it'll be a nice little watchdog for somebody, yes. but still easy to care, care for. They're, yeah. What's the confirmation standard on this dog? Uh, they're 17 inches okay. to 20 inches. That's what measured at the withers, at the not withers, the head, by the way. Head, yeah. We want to make sure of that. At the withers. Okay. Uh, he's 20 inches. He's right at the top of the Perfect. standard. Okay. And are they, they longer? They're a little bit longer. No, than, they're they're square. They are square breed. Okay. They are okay, a that's important breed. to know. Yeah. Okay. And now, what is their health like? There, and how long do they last? Uh, oh, 15 to 17 years. That's their the dog you want. Wonderful. They have very little. Very little problems. Okay. Uh, we do have hip dysplasia that okay. you got to check for. We check the eyes to keep them clear because we have a small gene pool. Yeah, I would so imagine. So the eyes are not usually a problem, okay. but we're checking to make sure we don't bring in a problem. And people, this is what I tell you, okay, this you don't get this on Craigslist and internet bullshit no. puppy mill sites. A good breeder checks for these things and you're going to get a dog that's not going to break your heart and the, yeah. the parents are not suffering in a cage somewhere. He's, this is why you want this kind he's of... He's all been health tested. His yeah. mother and father have all been health tested. Right. Right. He's uh, got a chick which is what says, I've done everything this breed needs to be checked for. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much and thank you for being a responsible breeder and carrying out a genes. Thank you Thank very you much. so much. So we're going to keep going here. I mean, we're, we've got so many dogs here. I mean... There was close to a thousand dogs entered in this show. And, you know, you'll see this. I mean, this is, you know, I mean, it's it just, again, this is no, no slant on uh, uh, rescue dogs, because we have rescue dogs. But what I'm saying to you here is, this is real good breeding. Because people always slam, oh, breeders are the part of the problem. Breeders are not part of the problem. Morons are part of the problem, okay? Assholes are part of the problem. Real responsible breeders, don't look at that poodle. I gotta show you this. That is a gorgeous dog. Gorgeous. Beautiful. And this is what you see here. This is what you this is what you know, this is why we come to dog shows. Look at that little guy. Look at that. And if you love dogs, go to a dog show. I mean, look at them. Whether you like rescue dogs or not, these okay now these are Aussies, I believe, in here. Probably could be making a mistake. This looks like a mini Aussie, I believe. There's, now, yesterday, every one of these rings was full, and I'm, I'm sure it will be at some point, or maybe I missed it, but um, every one of these rings was full with dogs. Oh, no, there's a Sharpe. Now, you guys know I love Sharpe's, right? I'm going to have to go say hi to this Sharpe. Because Silly was a Sharpe, and Silly started everything for me, and then, oh my God, there's a dachshund over there. This is, like, crazy for me. I just love, love, love being here. Look at this little guy. That is a gorgeous little Sharpay. Look at him. I mean, people, if you love dogs as much as me, this is the place to be. Long Beach Kennel Club. Look at this little dachshund. Look at this guy. Does this remind you of Bosman or what? Look at that little guy. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, more dogs, 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 sheep dogs, Malamutes, Huskies, I mean, um, there's a little beagle over here. Look at this guy. 
Tell me that's not a gorgeous dog. Well, if you're not ready for a Cane Corso, don't get one. That's the key. So many different dogs here. There's a little puppy here. There's a little corgi right here. Now there's corgis, there's Welch Pembroke corgis and cardigan corgis. Some, some slight differences, but um, you can Google that. I'm not really gonna get it. This is obviously a puppy here. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this lady is a professional handler, looks like to me. She'll take this dog in. It's not, not like me handling it a dog. When I just go in, I just do my best. This is somebody who knows what she's doing. And that's what you want. I mean, it's um, English Mastiff. Is, is this an English Mastiff? It is a Bull Mastiff. You're right. Okay, so there we go. Um, I think that one. Four months old. Four months old. So this is showing in puppy class? Beginner puppy. So this is how it starts, people, right? So they start the dog out by introducing him to the ring and the arenas and stuff. And then this dog has a much greater chance to be a grand champion because it's exposed to it. It's proper stacking, the proper stance, right? This is what they're teaching. This is what she's doing right now. She's doing what's called a free stack, getting him into this position where we can really see the confirmation of the dog. Okay, now somebody was asking, is this a is this a is this a beagle or a foxhound? Harrier. Oh, oh, a, Harrier. Oh, a Harrier. Okay. Oh, and then look at that. That's a Harrier Terrier, right? Harrier. Just a Harrier. Uh, yeah, it's okay. In the hound group. Oh, this is in the hound. Okay, so it is in the hound group. Okay. So look how beautiful this dog is. This is a hunting dog, right? Yeah. It's so good. Hunt rabbits. Okay, and he's obviously a puppy. No, you're a junior handler, right? No. Oh, I'm sorry. You look you look very young. Okay. What's your name? Jackie. Do you mind if I just interview you for a second? Okay. I'm going to put Jackie on camera with me. I always ask first because you, you never really. Okay. If you got to go in, you just leave me. Okay. But Jackie, tell me a little bit about this Harrier. He's uh, he's four and a half months old. Okay. He's uh, open marked chai. Okay. What does that mean? It means he's got oh, oh, okay, tan, yeah. black, and white. Three colors means chai. Okay. Like Aussies. Yep. And he's not got the full black saddle. Okay, got it. Okay. Now, how long have you been showing dogs? Six and a half years. Wow. Okay. And I started with Dalmatian. And how old were you when you started? Uh, Thirteen. Wow. Okay. So that's amazing. And how did you get into dog showing? Because you were obviously a junior handler then, right? Through 4-H. Oh, through 4-H club. With my mixed breed dogs. Okay. So that's a good. You can show mixed breed dogs in 4-H. Yes. So you know, if you have if children and you want them to have a really great hobby and something responsible to teach them about dogs, join a 4-H club. Right? They teach you how to train your dog for obedience and rally and okay. showmanship. Okay, so people, this is a great thing. You want to teach your kids responsibility. Don't just buy them a dog. Join the 4-H club. And that 4-H club is national. It's everywhere, right? Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing your time with us. If you want to check this out, it's on my YouTube channel, Robert Cabral. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, I mean, this is like the most fun thing in the world for me to do is to be at a dog show. This is going to be best in show? Oh my god, okay, well, okay, so these are still puppies now, or this best of breed for puppies? Yeah, Oh my god, four to six months, best of breed of puppies. This is a super exciting moment, um, you know. best in show. Best in show. So yeah, this, they, they, they have, that one and that one have to do best in group, so one of those two are going to get best in group. Oh, these Aussies. Uh, they're, they're in the herding group. Okay, yeah, so, Aussies. But there's only two of them. Okay. Uh, what, that's an Aussie and that one's a I'm corgi. I'm going to put you on film with me because people don't see you talking here, so now they see you Yeah, that talking. one's a corgi. And oh, that corgi. One's, and okay, so this is best of groups then, right? Yeah, that's a herding this group. This is the herding group finishing then, off. And then this is broken out because this is now the, um, the puppies of the group. Of right? the group, right. Okay, yes, understood. Yes. Okay, that's really important. You got to know that they're judged in different ages, like there's yeah. senior dogs, right? But they don't call them seniors. What veterans. Do they call them? Veterans. It's a much friendlier yes. way. Yes. I'm gonna, I want to be called a veteran when I hit 62. <laughs> I don't want to be called a senior. Um, okay, so now they're going to pick the best of the herding, which is only these two. Wow, that's that kind of a small, small entry, but very that small happens, entry, but still, which is yeah. Typical for a puppy competition. Yeah. Puppy competition. Yeah, puppy competition is fine, but. Okay, and then we're gonna go, this is gonna be, whoever wins this, I'm gonna flip this around so you can, well, you can't see it, I'll flip you more, I'm more interesting right now. When this one wins, the winner of this group will then go into the best of breed. Best, for, show, best, best in show. show. Sorry, for best in show. The group Made winners. the same mistake. Best in show of all so, the groups. So there's six groups, I believe, seven, right? Seven groups. Seven groups, I'm close. There's seven groups of dogs, and then you'll see a, a, a delegate uh, from each, almost each of the groups, right? Every Group. Yeah. Like you got the mastiff, today. you got the little terrier here. Mastiff, bull, mastiff, bull, mastiff bull mastiff in the working group. Working group, and then you've got the harrier in the hound in, in the, the hound group. In the hound group. In that one. The little terrier. terrier. 
Um, I have the herding. And then what about this one? You got a little non sporting dog? Sporting. Sporting for the, the golden. This is non sporting. Okay, it's non sporting. Now, I, I was showing you guys the Sharpe before. I love Sharpe because I had a Sharpe. Silly and was the my first one dog. over there is the toy group. And the toy. Oh, okay. The little. Is that like a little uh, greyhound? Tiny greyhound. greyhound? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to see. We're gonna, I'm going to stay with you guys for we're about 25 minutes. I know you guys are having a blast because my personality just keeps you guys checked in. Um, we're going to see who, when they go in. It's just, I'm going to give you a play-by-play -play on this. It's going to be super fun. I'm just going to do a quick, I'm going to turn around here, turn the camera around. And now here's the Harrier. Okay. Over here. In the hound group. Ha Harrier and the hound group. Go behind the hound group. Bull Mastiff in the working group. Yeah. Bull Mastiff right there. Working group. Working, working group. dogs. Okay. Yeah. He moves out. Now. And remember, German Shepherds are not in the working group. They're in the herding group. In the herding group. Yeah. And here's the herding group. We don't know which one of these people corgi. placed it. Do we? The corgi took it. The okay. corgi took it. There's the beautiful Aussie. But the corgi took this group. One going over there. Okay. And then you got the toy group for the Italian Greyhound. You've got the Golden Retriever and the Sporting Dogs. This is exciting. This is going to be super exciting. I'm going to stay on here. I hope the battery lasts. Looks like the battery's doing okay for us. We're going to see these. We talked to some of these people. We saw some of these dogs. There's the Sharpe. Right? Awesome. That's a beautiful Sharpe. I don't know how old he is, but he's good. Nice it's really gorgeous. Really gorgeous dog. Nice cool show dog too. Really nice. A lot of wrinkles. Really beautiful stance. I mean, beautiful stance. Okay, they all win for me too. By the way, by the way, they already all won. Every one of these dogs won their individual groups, right? So these are the best of the groups. So remember, right there, that's the corgi. That's your herding. That's a herding dog. Corgis herd cows, so they're very, very solid dogs. Golden Retriever, sporting dog, the Italian Granny. Hardly see him. The Harrier. Okay, here we go. Group winners. They're going in now. Here we go. I'm going to keep you, I'm going to, I'm going to stay with you guys. Okay. Look at this, Bull Mastiff. Is there a difference between a Bull Mastiff and an English Mastiff? Yes. There is? Yes. Okay. That I did not know. Yes. Yes. Okay. You remember that. So I'm going to come over here so we can see this a little bit better, so you can see this beautiful lineup of dog. Again, Long Beach Kennel Club has done, here, right there is the Long Beach Kennel Club. It's just a great, great, great uh, club of dog owners and lovers. So here we go, look at this. That is an amazing lineup of dogs. And what the lady with the Sharpe did there by lifting this dog up is she's stacking the dog so the dog shows best, right? And you're gonna see everybody doing this with their dogs and now they're gonna be judged for best of breed. Or best of show. I keep saying best of breed because that's all I've, I've never gotten that far, but this is best of show. So this will be the very, the best puppy at the show today. So watch, they're gonna go around, they're gonna do their runs. Let's watch this, look at that. Look at this. Long Beach Kennel Club has done an amazing job at this show. I love, love, love this show. Look at this, yeah, they're all gonna get applause. They all deserve it. Again, they're all winners, every one of these dogs. Even little sniffs, like these little sniffs are so controlled, right? There's no jumping or you know anything. And these are puppies, these are puppies that are four months old and they're already in this this is the best of breed uh, janet's right here next to me you can't see her because we're showing the camera here but look at all these dogs. That, that's our sporting dog right there that's a golden retriever he won the best of the puppies the uh, best of the golden puppies it's a four six month old group okay he's doing his go around and this is a harrier janet's going to send me a message rather than talk to me because um well socialized they're extremely well socialized and janet wants a puppy we're gonna get a puppy soon. We got the Duane Amator right now. Okay, look at that. This girl was a junior handler, has been showing dogs for six years. She's 19, um, and started 4-H club. What a great thing to do for your kid. You know, I mean, you want to show your kid responsibility? Get them off of the freaking games. Get them off of the Nintendos and the and the Xboxes. Now, I'm not gonna get an endorsement from Bill Gates, but I don't care. This is what I want kids to do: handling dogs, showing dogs. I mean, being active. This, what a great thing this parent did for this child. That's how you raise a child. Get them off their freaking games and they're, they're getting carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, this is a, uh, a bull mastiff here. Well, do they need their tail up is a great question. They don't. It depends on the confirmation of the breed. Some breed standards require a tail up. For example, a Sharpe must have a curled tail. Other dogs, it's a fault if they have a curled tail. 
Look at that little Sharpay. That's like a little silly right there. Those of you who know my dog Silly know how much I love him. Look at that. That is adorable. So we're going to stay here until we find the best in show from the four to six month old puppy group. Yeah, working with animals should be taught in schools. So should social responsibility and being a cool person and, you know, all that stuff. I agree. Get them off the games. You're right. Okay, whoop, I'm missing this. This is the little terrier. I'm not sure what kind of terrier that is. Do you know what kind of terrier that is up here? I'm asking Janet here. Janet knows everything. I'm not sure, honey. Janet's not sure. That doesn't matter. It's a cute dog. Yeah. Do we know what kind of terrier that is? It's a Russell terrier. Oh, it is a Russell. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Russell's and Parsons Terriers, they're all kind of similar. They're hard to tell apart. It's a Parsons, not a Jack, but I don't know. That's what, that's what she just said. Yeah, it's a Parsons. The Terriers were developed by regions. So Jack Russell was a region. Okay. Parcel Russ Terrier is Mr. Parson developed. Okay. His. They all look alike, but they came from different regions. Oh, okay. How, Excellent. Jack so-and-so got the Jack Russell. Okay. That's how they got their names. Interesting. Okay, that's great information. Thank you so much for helping. Yeah. We're rooting for this bull mastiff. Okay, the bull mastiff. Yep. And what's the difference between the bull mastiff and the English mastiff? English mastiff is bigger. It and, is bigger. And yeah. looser. And okay. these dog, the bull mastiff was developed from the English okay. mastiff and the old English bulldog. Okay, so we're pulling for the mastiff. Oh. Who, who took it? The Sharpay. The Sharpay. The Sharpay. Oh my you did God! Call, I did call that, didn't I? Oh my you God! Well, we are going to see if we can get one quick word with the Sharpay because you guys know how much I love Sharpay. Oh my God! That is just that this. So that is the best in show. That's a huge, huge accomplishment. Um, I don't know if we're going to. Congratulations! You did a great job showing. Look at this, I'm going to show you. This is, this is just awesome. That is fantastic. So rare that a Sharpay would win Best in Show. I mean, that makes me happy. And we're going to see if I can get a quick word with her. I don't know if I can or not. And uh, let me turn around here. Look at that little pony. That's a Great Dane. Great Dane's carrying a little uh, package there in the, with him the back end um, all right well we were pulling for the the English the bull mastiff beautiful beautiful dog all right great okay let's uh, let's go back this way shall we Janet's walking with me um, does not want to be on camera so beautiful but you know what very shy very modest me I'm the camera ham I'm always on camera you guys probably get sick of seeing me but so cute. and by the way let me tell you something about crate training your dog do these dogs look miserable? No, I think not. Look how beautiful those dogs are. Look how well behaved they are. And you know what? There's dogs everywhere here. And these dogs are calm because they're well socialized and well crate trained. It's so, so, so important. Please do yourself a favor. Oh, look at these guys. Oh my God. Are those Bouviers? Bouviers, beautiful dogs. The woman creating the Bouviers down there lost explain structure. To me? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, listen, we have somebody who wants to talk to us about Bouviers, and I love to learn. I'm going to actually flip this around here so you can see my handsome face for a change. Hang on. Okay, here I am. Um, Janet's right in front of me. Maybe you can get a glimpse of her. Come on, I'm going to... Ah, she kind of... There she is. There she is. She's waving to you. She doesn't like it that much. She just doesn't like it that much. But she's beautiful, and as long as she doesn't hide from me, I don't care, right? I could care less. By the way, my favorite thing, look at that. I'm gonna tilt up for a second. Look at that. I love seeing that. And by the way, you know what? If you're from another country, this has nothing to do with me liking uh, my country over your, I mean, I do like my country better than any country in the world. That's why I live here. But wherever you live, you should take pride. But if you live in America, you know, just be, be happy with this country. I mean, I don't care anything about politics or anything like that. Just be happy with where you live and be nice to people. For, for, for sakes, just, just be nice to people. We're gonna find the Bouvier, where's the Bouvier lady? Which one? Over here with the glasses? Hi. Hi. This is Robert. Hi, how are you? I'm gonna to try to shake your hand without screwing up my camera. Can I put you on camera with me? Yes. Okay, well, this is go. Pia? No, Pilar. Pilar? Yeah. 
Let's go over here. Okay, we're gonna move. Okay, I'm gonna get you. So here we go. Okay, so you're on camera with me right there. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about Bouviers today, oh, right? Oh, Bouviers, yes, we can talk about Bouviers. Okay, so you're gonna talk really loud because we're gonna be on my YouTube channel. Now, Pilar. Yes. You breed Bouviers. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the breed. Where are they from? What are they? What are their qualify? Their, their their confirmation, everything like that. What are they good for? So they're uh, from Belgium. Okay. They were bred to herd cattle. Okay. Before sheep. Okay. Uh, pull carts to market, guard livestock, okay. anything at all. It's on a working a farm. dog. It's a working okay. herding dog. Uh, very versatile. Okay. Bred to work uh, unsupervised. Okay. So they're very highly important. intelligent. Okay. Work independent of their people. Yes. So that's very important to okay. understand the breed because you have to know what's going on up here yeah. to understand how to manage them and work okay. with them. They're very much about being a team player okay. if they respect you. Okay, and if and they don't? If they don't, they will blow you off and they will do their own thing right. because they will take matters in their own hands okay. to do their job. Okay, got it. Um, now you say working herding. How does that work? What, what, what group do they fall in in the AKC? So the AKC, they're in the herding group. In the herding group, okay. Uh, over in Europe, they're in the pastoral. Okay, so that's a group we don't even have here. Correct. Because in a pastoral, it could be a working dog and a herding group, right? Would that be like a com combination? Yeah, they do a couple of different combinations of dogs that, like, you know, are a little bit more, well, dogs that are versatile and they have a slightly different focus. Okay. But, yeah. But here so, in the AKC, they're in the herding group. So, how does it make a good pet? Be honest. Yes, of course. Yes, but. Yes, but. Okay, good. They're not a breed for a first time dog owner. Okay, that's important, people. Very important. Um, now, granted, my first dog as a single young adult was a Bouvier, but I had spent time around them. Right. I had done my research, right. and I knew that was the right breed for right. me right. You knew based on it. intelligence, my activity level, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So, Tell me about activity level for the dog. What do they need? Um, they need to be worked in their mind, and they need to have the physical work, exercise, to burn off that extra energy right. and to listen. Um, okay. When I was single and I lived in a condo, my dog was out several times a day because okay. you have to go outside to go potty. Sure. I didn't have a yard. I was on the second floor. Right. Very important. Right. Uh, very well socialized, out all the time. Okay. Do they uh, live long? Somebody just asked us that live. Do they uh, live long? The average lifespan is 10 to 12 years. Okay, so that's a medium life lifespan. It's a, it's a good life. Yeah, it's a good life. Right? I mean, that's, that's what we aim for. Good. I have one that's about to turn 13. Okay, fast. Um, now, how long have you been breeding the Bouviers? So, I've had Bouviers for 22 years. Okay. I got into showing 13 years ago. Okay. And uh, my husband and I uh, got married 10 years ago. Good. And thank you very much. Uh, in October this year. It's Jan and I are going to get married soon. Yay! Uh, our anniversary is 10 10 10. Wow, um, okay. And because he's from Animal Husbandry, who is a pig farmer's son. Okay. And so he's been involved in 4 H and FFA and livestock. Awesome. So uh, in California, obviously, we lived in a little Cracker Jack box yeah. house down near LAX. We first got married. Kind of hard to keep two breeding programs going, so, hard, so we yeah. bought acreage. We did have a litter of Scotties born in our old house. We had two puppies. And then we ended up buying two and a half acres up in the high desert. Okay. And then once we moved up there, we had a litter of Bouviers, and they will be seven in wow. June, wow. end of June. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, the structure of the dog. So, the structure of the that. dog. So, every breed of dog, obviously, structure is important yeah. for their job. Right. Uh, Bouvier, being a herding dog that's supposed to work all day, yeah. is a square breed. Okay. What that means. Like a Malinois. Uh, yes, a lot of the herding breeds that have that are leggy, yeah. um, they should be square. Yeah. People say, what does square mean? What that means when we're talking about front end structure, yeah. if you have a box, for right. example, right? A box. Yeah. And you don't have a good front end structure that will support that box. Right. So, right, you need this angulation to make this strong. It's not a collapse. It'll collapse. Right. The dog will break down. It right. won't work all day. Right, going to so, shoulder issues, right? right. And elbow and so issues. So you look at the withers to the point of the elbow. I'm okay. sorry, the withers to the point of the shoulder, right. back to the return of the upper arm. Okay. The withers and the elbow should be in line with one another. Right. And that angulation is important mm -hmm. because of the sheer physics of right. angulation. Right. right. And you want balanced angles in the front as well as the rear. Right. So that whole structure gives that dog that movement. Right. that also covers a lot of ground right. with the least amount of effort and efficiency yeah. so they don't wear themselves out and they can cover all of that space to get around a herd, and around livestock. And cover it safely. Cover it safely. Right, no shoulder issues, no hip issues, right. no and they don't, back they don't issues. break down. Yeah, right? and, you, and you, that's something for a pet. We should not want our pets to break down. We should right. get dogs that are solid because it's so painful on the dog and on us emotionally when we see our dogs with shoulder issues and back issues and hip issues from crappy breeding. Well... 
just like humans though yeah right i mean i had cancer not in my family yeah hey i got hair again yeah you're good good. yeah you're good to go but you know my husband didn't go to my parents and say hey your daughter's defaulty and i'd like another one yeah 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 yeah. right everybody has an issue or a challenge every dog is a living being absolutely there's not a single breeder here in this entire environment that purposefully would ever go out and breed a litter to not be healthy not be structured properly and break down and, and get cancer. I mean, but let's talk about that, okay? These are responsible breeders. What about people who breed on Craigslist and these morons who sell on on, 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 on the internet, puppy mills? They don't care. Um, I can't talk to them. Okay. I can't talk, I don't know them, okay. right? Okay, I can. In my opinion, yeah. I believe that they don't purposefully right. want to do harm. No. I think that there is a fallacy that a lot of people think that they can breed the dogs to make money. Sure, sure. There is a lot that goes was into them Absolutely. and doing it right. Yeah. And you don't make money right. when you're doing it right. This is not your job. This is this your is passion. This is not my job. Right. It's my in, hobby. In fact, your job probably covers the bill for your hobby, like most of us do. <laughs> yeah. Like Janet and I spent a fortune on going to dog shows, and you spent money doing this. I mean, thank you so much. Oh, Tell yeah, me your you're name welcome. and the name of if you're on Facebook or YouTube or anywhere. We're on Facebook. Okay, uh, Facebook. My name's Pilar Coon. My husband is Rod Ott. Okay. Uh, we're Bravo Scottish Terriers and La Chanson Bouviers. Okay. Um, Bravo Scottish Terriers. Bravo. Bravo. And then, and then, what's the what's the Bouviers? Does a kennel club certificate make a difference? Uh, that's a good question. Excellent. I'm yes. glad you read that because I didn't. I, read I it. saw good. it. Um, so, yes and no. We do this because we're having our dogs evaluated for the best confirmation based on the dogs they're in the ring with, right? We have a bitch that never got her championship. She hated to show, but she had merit for the breed. She had a litter. Out of that litter, we have three champions, two best in show winners, a national specialty winner. Wow. One of those is in Australia. One of those is here in the United States because she hated to show. So getting that championship, is that yeah. really important from a breeding standpoint and preserving genetics? It helps you. No. I mean, but we have to know what we have yeah, 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 yeah. to have merit to go forward. Right, right, right. The other thing I'd like to say just briefly. Please. Every breeder that's here and every litter that's born of a purposefully bred litter. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. Purposefully, purposefully bred, bred litter. That's huge. Purposefully bred yeah. is doing their part to preserve genetics of breeds that are trending to face extinction right the sheer number of purebred dogs that have been bred over the last 20 years if you look at the numbers they have gone down drastically in my two breeds we've had a 70 percent decrease in scottish terriers in the last 20 years and we have a 53 percent decrease in bouviers so every time we have a litter or we do evaluation whether they show and get their championship certificate or not yeah the most important thing to us is that we have wonderful owners and co-owners that right. value the genetics that we've entrusted right. to their home. Yeah. Keep them intact. Don't do early spay and neuter, yeah, which science is finding more and Horrible. more that's hurting the dogs. Terrible. Be responsible yeah. and allow us an opportunity if we need to, to use those genetics yeah. to broaden the gene yeah. pool and make a big impact on yeah. keeping these breeds going. And all these people are talking about, you know, about lions, because I, I go to Africa. Uh-huh. Lions are going extinct and elephants are going extinct. Yeah. You know. Pet dogs can go extinct if these animal rights morons keep trying to shut down the legitimate breeders. It's really bad. The AK is doing, AKC is doing a wonderful job yes, in preserving so. these breeds. And if you love elephants and lions and all animals like I do, then you're going to want to preserve these individual breeds because a Bouvier or a lion, these are you know, species. I mean, species obviously, that we care about. That we care about. And we need to care about all species and all people, people. So thank you so much. Well, this was a really wonderful interview. Check it on YouTube channel. I'll give you all the links. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. I mean, that was probably one of the most amazing conversations I've had here. I mean, anywhere. I mean, that was fascinating. I'm going to flip this around again. Um, This is the longest video I've ever done, too. Look at that dog. Come on. And okay, we're back here. And we're going to start heading out of here in a minute. I'm going to um, just flip around here. And remember, this is the Bichon over here. This is not a, a Maltese, which I called it originally. Look at that. Tell me that guy doesn't love his dog. All right. Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to uh, do one last pan around this amazing facility that the Long Beach Kennel Club has put on. Just an amazing job. A big shout out to my good friend Bob Margolis from the Long Beach Kennel Club. 
um, an amazing dog trainer, breeder, and friend, and lover of animals. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. I, uh, I'm signing out, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.